fellow shooters. Got a bit of a break in this rather nasty rain that we've been having. So I'm going to do a little test. I'm using my 22 Magnum. It's a CZ452. Going to be trying some 30 grain Hornady ammunition and then without altering the elevation or anything we're going to try it with some CCI 40 grain and then we're going to try a few shots with uh, some Federal 50 grain just to see really what the bullet drop is like it's a little bit breezy we've got uh, a moderate left to right wind but uh, we'll see what we can do I'm more concerned about the bullet drop than I am uh, on the uh, anything else we're going to fire three rounds at each target I've got the target set up there I paced it out to 110 paces which I believe is as near as 100 yards it's uh, up there there's a target ball with three targets on it so I'll shut down I'm gonna fire three rounds of each ammunition and then we'll go up and we'll see what it's like see you in a minute okay guys just while I'm walking up to the target I fired three of each weight of ammunition the gun was zeroed for the Hornady 30 grain the wind however died off while I was shooting so I sort of half expect to see the latter half of the shot going slightly left of where the earlier shots were so not to worry we're uh, almost there let's go up and have a look okay and then, just get this camera. First of all, target one. This is the Hornady 30 grain. You got one there, one there, and one flyer, which uh, rather than blame the gun, we'll blame the, the, blame the fat old kit on the camera. And then, the wind started to die off the 40 grain actually rose a little bit more apart from that flyer those two uh, they've risen maybe half an inch but here is a big difference these segments are one inch segments we've got a lovely group off of the 50 grain but they're one, two, three inches down. So at 100 yards, we've got a three inch drop, but we've got a, a slightly tighter group. Uh, we can see there, they are, uh, well, they're all, they're all within a half inch circle. So I'd, uh, I would be happy to zero the gun to take those 50 grain at 100 yards however looking at the drop on them I've got to say I wouldn't want to try taking on any live quarry beyond the 100 yard mark uh, I fancy there'd be a bit too much drop and we'd be playing an awful lot with holdover so there we go 30 grain nicely uh, in the black that's a one inch circle that the 40 grain have actually risen about a half an inch apart from that one which is me the 50 grain is the big difference there is a one two three inch drop but a much tighter group there we go the difference between 30 40 and 50 grain ammunition all fired through the same 0.22 WMR Magnum Rifle. There we go guys. Thanks very much.